Sorry, y'all. It's doing this thing again where I start it sideways, but then it doesn't want me to do that. But either way, it gives people time to get on, right? So now we're horizontal. Okay. I don't know why it's been doing that. Usually when I just set it up, like, well, now it's vertical. Well, usually when I set it up horizontal, it like adjusts and it hasn't been doing that the past two times. So I don't know if some updates are like not making it good, but um, hello everyone. Welcome to story time week 20. <laughs> Can you believe like, wow, it's just turned into so much fun. I mean, it's always been a lot of fun. So thank you for joining me on this journey and help having us helping us navigate COVID-19. Um, yeah, like I said in my reminder post yesterday, it's somebody's birthday, but I'm not going to tell you who it is yet, but I'm going to try to give some hints before we get to the song break, because we'll be singing happy birthday to him, obviously, um, for our song of the day. So I'll try to give you some hints throughout. They might not be really helpful if you don't know me <laughs> super personally, but, uh, you know, it'll help you get to learn some things about him. So my first hint for our birthday person of the day is he has this exact same shirt. So I don't know if that helps, but, you know, it obviously has a lot of fish on it. He really likes fish, so... Hope that does something. All right. Okay, notifications. Okay. Uh, if you haven't been with us, uh, my name is Maddie. I use they, them pronouns. And this is my beautiful buddy, River. They also use they, them pronouns. And we've been working together to provide you with the quality entertainment that story time is through Helping Services <laughs> Facebook page. Um, so we just kind of like to go through our schedule a little bit so we know what's going on. You know, we're always ready to roll with the punches, but just so you get a general idea of what we're going to do if you haven't been with us yet, um, whether you're watching live or not. Um, uh, we usually start out with some getting the wiggles out, moving the body, getting nice and like getting all the things out, you know. And then after that, we'll do some deep breaths together so we can get nice and calm so we can read our first book together. And then after we read our first book, it's time for a song and usually we sing and dance. And like today I said, it's a birthday, so we're gonna be singing happy birthday. We're gonna get our special guest on the phone and he's gonna talk with us about some stuff. So I'm really excited for that. And then after our, we talk to our special guest a little bit and sing, a, sing happy birthday to him, uh, we are going to move on and read our second book, and then after that, usually we have some announcements. Um, I have a really important announcement to share with you today, and then after that, every week, our lovely River, River the Rabbit, sorry to hit you, River, um, River gives us a spe special message, I can never say it, I can never, special message of the week and also an activity or something to do throughout the week, you know. Sometimes they're really simple ideas, but it's like, oh, hey, I haven't done that in a while. Maybe I should do it. So, um, awesome. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So, to get the wiggles out, um, you know, I have a mic right now, so I got some wires to deal with. So if you're in that situation, I don't know why you would be, but, or if you got people around you, just make sure that you were like, aren't going to hit them or anything, because we don't want to do that on accident. You know, we don't want to hit our friends on accident. Um, you can do this sitting down, lying down, standing up, whatever you want, whatever feels best. So try it all with me. I mean, everybody, let's go. We're going to start from our head and work our way down to our toes. And you can wiggle as fast or as slow as you want, OK? Um, and then at the end, we'll wiggle it all together as fast as we can, okay? Safely. You don't want to hurt yourself, okay? Listen to your body. All right, start with the head or the hair. Sometimes I like to start with my hair because I can, like, do this, like, crazy stuff. And then the eyebrows. Can you wiggle your eyebrows and your eyes? Oh, my goodness. That kind of hurt. And your nose. And your mouth. And your chest. <laughs> and your ears. 
If you have to do it like this, that's okay. I can't wiggle my ears on command. And your neck. Okay, be careful with this one, because... Whoo! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Up, down, side to side. Okay, and move down to those shoulders. Mm -mm, I'm just sorry, River. I want you in the frame, but I also want—I also want me in the frame. You know what I'm saying? Okay, shoulders. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Up, down. Can you do some cool things with them? And those arms. Look at those arms. What can you do? Can you do some really cool movements? Something you've never done before? I don't know. Uh, wiggle your hands. Sound effects. Bring it all in. Fingers, wiggle those fingers. Can you wiggle your fingers in a way you never have before? I don't know, it's kind of hard. I just, like, I mean, I don't usually do this on a normal day. All right, wiggle that torso. Ooh, ooh. Like you're on a slide or something. Sorry, I'll try to stay in the frame. When it's vertical, it's hard, y'all. Okay, wiggle that torso, wiggle those hips. It's hard to do it in a chair, see if you need to stand up or like lift yourself up. Wiggle them, wiggle them, and then wiggle those legs. Oh, y'all, oh, my least favorite part. Wiggle those legs, get your core activated. Don't forget to breathe. Wiggle those feet. I think I have the camera too close. Wiggle those toes, and then wiggle everything at once. Okay, ready? Everything at once. How many things can you wiggle? Can you wiggle it all as fast as you can? Okay, five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Y'all, I get so out of breath every time. Get a sip of water. Sorry, I hope my mic isn't like, sometimes I need to like bring my volume down. So we're working on it. Um, okay. So we're a little out of breath, maybe, maybe you're not. If you are with me, <laughs> that's great. Uh, so we're gonna take some deep breaths together. You're gonna breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. I can't even talk. <laughs> All right, first one, breathe in through the nose, fill that belly, fill that chest, ready? In through the nose, fill the belly. Can you fill it anymore? Can you sniff in anymore? And exhale it all out <sighs> through the mouth like <sighs> All right, this second breath we're gonna do, when you breathe in through your nose, you're gonna reach, reach, reach for the sky, and you're gonna reach, reach, reach your legs, and you're gonna be pulling your body from opposite ends like it's um, like a piece of taffy, you know what I'm saying? Have you seen those like taffy pullers? Except don't hurt yourself, you know. Use your imagination. <laughs> All right, breathe in through the nose and reach, reach, reach. Reach higher. Can you reach your legs farther? Can you sniff in a little more? Can you feel your belly? And exhale, bring it all in. <sighs> Maybe you need to wiggle a little bit more. Nothing wrong with wiggles. <sighs> okay. So, now that we've done that, it is time for our first book of the day. And I was really excited because um, we're kind of running low on, on book supplies. Uh, and I found this one when I was walking home from work one day and somebody had a table of free stuff. So whoever you are in Decorah, thank you for providing our first book today. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's called How Do Dinosaurs Love You? Or no, sorry. <laughs> How Do Dinosaurs Say I Love You? By Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. Okay. Here we go. You woke in the morning in such a bad mood. Oh, does that happen to you sometimes? It happens to me. Today I woke up in a good mood because I was excited for story time, but it's okay to wake up in a bad mood. Then sat at the table and fussed with your food. Oh no, that would not go down in my house. That, not, well, that would not go down with my mom or dad. Like, come on, and it's the fruit cereal. That stuff's good. But then you blew kisses and waved from the door. I love you, I love you, my dinosaur. Oh, 
Yay! Blow kisses. That's so cute. Out in the sandbox, you threw lots of sand. <gasps> what? Uh-oh. That is not good. Have you ever had somebody throw sand at you? It hurts. And if you get it in your eyes, oof. We don't want to throw sand. It's not fun for anyone. Okay, we're having page troubles. You ran from the slide after slapping my hand. Oh, these are some, excuse me, these are some troublemaker dinosaurs. We don't slap people's hands, that's not okay. But you suddenly turned with a smile I adore. Oh, I'll always love you, my dinosaur. Oh, show your smile. <laughs> ah, cute, okay. You moped through your nap time and slept not a wink. Do you ever do that? I used to do that, but now I love nap time. Because adults don't always get nap time. So, soak it up while you can, kids. You flooded the house when you played in the sink. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at that mess. It's getting all over the floor. Oh. This ain't no water park. But you got out the mop and then cleaned up the floor. I love you so much, little dinosaur. Isn't that so sweet? These little actions are kind of ways that the dinosaurs are saying I love you, isn't it? Off in the car, you kept kicking my seat. No. Don't you hate that? How would you feel if someone was kicking your seat? Isn't that, isn't that like not fun? And, and she's trying to drive. Come on. Come on. And when we got out, you were dragging your... Yeah. This is hard. Especially when you got to go places you don't want to go. But you can't be left home alone. It's rough. But, you know, got to do what you got to do. But you held my hand tight when we walked in the store. I'll love you forever, my dinosaur. <gasps> Oh, they're holding hands. How sweet. That's so awesome. Dinner disaster. You made such a mess. Would you stay up past bedtime? The answer was yes. Uh-oh. Yeah, look at that mess. He's going to have to take another bath. Can you see it all? Oof, oof, oof. But when you smile sweetly and hold back your war, roar, roar, when you kiss me and hug me once, twice, even more. Aww. Do you show your love through hugs and kisses? I love hugs. I really love hugs. That's when you give love, and I know this is true, because that's how a dinosaur says, I love you. <gasps> Yay! The end. Awesome! Great pick, River. Well, I found this one, actually. <laughs> so I'll take the credit for that, and also thank you to the person who had the table of free stuff. Um, <laughs> we appreciate you. All right. It's time to sing happy birthday to our special guest. He's probably waiting for me. Um, so I'm going to call him, and once I call him, and say who he is, you will then know. So the phone call ringing is going to be the drum roll. Are you ready? River, are you ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go. We're going to call the birthday boy. Let me know if you can hear. Okay. Hey, Grandpa! Happy birthday! Yo, Manny! <laughs> How are you? Oh, pretty good. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining Storytime. Our audience is very excited, and I'm also very excited. So, do you have any fun plans for the day or the weekend for your birthday? Well, that, it depends on what the weather does, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd like to go fishing, but I don't know if that'll happen today. So. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah, I was just telling the audience too. Um, can you get, can you guess what shirt I'm wearing today? Since you mentioned fishing. <laughs> oh, oh, that one. 
that, 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 that your mom had. Yeah, the one with the trigger fish on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing for story time for the for your special day. So. <laughs> okay, I have one like it. Yeah, yeah. I was telling the audience that too. Awesome. Well, I think now, if you're ready, uh, I mean, I'll sing you happy birthday, and then our audience out there that are watching virtually, they can join us. Um, anybody, this is our song portion, everybody. So if you want to move, dance, sing, again, just make sure you have enough space to do so. But. Yeah, here we go. Are you ready, Grandpa? You betcha. Awesome. All right, audience, here we go. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandpa. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. I'm so excited you're on and... Hope you have been having a great day so far, and I hope the weather holds up so you can uh, go fishing. Um, <laughs> but I also know that you have some special words of wisdom for us. Would you like to share it now? Sure, that would be fine. Awesome. Take it away. Okay. Well, I guess the first thing I would say is always be honest. Mm. But... Also, always be kind. Goes and hand in hand. Putting those two things together may not always be easy. That's true. That's true. Uh, number two, try to learn something new every day. Mmm. That's a great one. But remember, understanding what you know is more important than just knowing stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you don't know what you don't know. So there's a lot more that we can learn, right? That's right. Awesome. And then to go along with that one, I would say don't be afraid to ask questions. Because mm. questions are the first step understanding. Yes. Yeah, I really like that last one, too, because... I remember when I was younger in school, sometimes I'd be too afraid to ask questions because I thought maybe it didn't make me feel smart or whatever. But as I grew older and realized that, hey, asking questions helps me and it helps other people, right? Oh, that's right. I'm sure that lots of other people have the same questions that you have. That's true. And you're, all, you're helping everybody else out. For sure, for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Grandpa. We learned so much from you today. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just so happy you came on with us. I'm seeing lots of comments in the live. Mo Mom says, so awesome, so sweet. Sue Kerrigan says, happy birthday. And then Christy's watching too. She says, happy birthday too. And then Sue also just said, great advice. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for joining it, us. I hope you have the happiest of birthdays. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. I love you, Grandpa. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ah! Y'all, that was so amazing. Uh, my grandpa's so great. <laughs> okay. I love talking with him. And, like, seriously, what great advice, y'all. We can learn a lot from our family members, especially from our grandparents, so... It's really important to maintain some good relationships with everyone that you want to and if they want to, right? So, oh, thanks again, Grandpa. I'll send you this link later uh, for joining us. That was just so awesome and I'm like so happy. Um, yay! Okay, so now, like I said, we sung Happy Birthday. We talked with Grandpa. We um, are now, we sang our song. And now it's time for our second book, which is a little quicker one, because um, usually I don't know how to manage time. So, uh, yeah, so this next one is called Princess Petal, and it is by, wait, it's written by Leslie Reese and illustrated by Joe Brown. Okay, Princess Petal. Sorry, it might be a little glossy, but I'll try to get the photos in there. Princess Petal lives in a shiny white castle surrounded by beautiful gardens filled with pretty flowers and colorful butterflies. 
The princess's best friend is Sparkle, a sweet little puppy. Every morning he helps the princess to choose her dress. Which one today? she asks. Sparkle stands next to a pretty yellow one, wags his tail, and barks. Perfect, says the princess. Then they play games in the garden. They love to run and jump and play catch the ball. Sorry, y'all, I forgot to do this for the last page. See, there's, what's the dog's name? Sparkle? Sparkle, yeah. That's cute. And there's the yellow dress. <laughs> cute, 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 cute. Today, Princess Petal is very excited. She has just received an invitation to a special party, a ball at the palace. The prince is so handsome, Petal says to her puppy. I must look my best. But you know, it's okay to not look your best for somebody else, but for you, right? Let's remember that. She slips on a beautiful pink dress, trimmed with jewels and satin ribbons on her feet are dainty, on her feet are dainty gold slippers. Ooh, look at that. I like that dress. I like both these dresses. They're super cute. Then Petal opens her jewelry box and takes out a pair of crystal earrings and a diamond tiara. She places the tiara carefully on her head. Now she can go to the ball. Look at the tiara. So sparkly, so pretty. This is like Cinderella-esque, y'all. Like, you know, you got the carriage, kind of looks like a pumpkin, you know. Maybe there's some backstory that we don't know. Um, as the princess and Sparkle enter the ballroom, everyone gasps in delight. Can you gasp in delight with me? <gasps> Like if you just saw a super beautiful human being walk in the room, <gasps> wow, or like any, a cake, a piece of cake, <laughs> whatever makes you gasp in delight. The handsome prince takes the princess's hand. You are the lady here, he says. May I have this dance? Of course, your highness, says the princess. Princess Petal is the happiest girl in the whole kingdom. And she's the happiest girl, not just because he chose her, but because she's confident and beautiful in her own way. The end. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I had to add a little some stuff in there, but that's okay. All right. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we're already done with our second book. This time always just flies by, but I always have so much fun. Um, so it's time for some announcements. And like I said at the beginning, I have a very special announcement that I need to share with y'all and I'm a little nervous, so if you can just give me some like positive vibes while I deliver this information, that would be wonderful. So I've been working, I've been working at Helping Services for almost a year now, it would be a year in September, but I came across another job opportunity with this place called Iowa Safe Schools, and I'm gonna be starting a job with them in September. Um, and I think I had kind of mentioned Iowa Safe Schools before because I would advertise their drag queen story time and it was just so funny how this kind of worked out. But um, yeah, so I, I, that means that I only have a few more story times with you. Um, I don't exactly know what's going to happen with story time after I leave helping services, but I just want you to know that I've had so much fun and this isn't my last one yet. I still have at least two more. Um, story times to bring all the fun and just have fun with you. So it's really sad, but it's also exciting because I'm really excited. Um, and yeah, so that was my main announcement for the day. Um, yeah, and you know, keep making sure you're following your local libraries and stuff. Keep wearing your masks. Um, I hope to. I think I'm gonna be posting a mask video uh, this Friday on the Helping Services page, so it kinda of teaches you how to wear it properly and what to do with kids, and we'll also be sharing some resources too. So watch out for that. And now it's just time for our favorite part, River's Special Messages. So here we go. Sorry, I like always put it under this table and it makes it really difficult to reach. I don't know why I do that, but um, so if you haven't been with us, this is the beautiful box that River decorated all by themselves. They drew a little self-portrait, they got a little like butterfly, just so cute, and I laminated it for them because I kept accidentally spilling water on it and it was like 
not okay. So, um, yeah, so River Special Messages, uh, he'll, they will give a, uh, you know, thing to live by or whatever, and then also a activity to do, an activity idea or something to try out this week. So, are you ready for the spe special message of the week? Give me a drum roll, please. <laughs> What grandpa said. <laughs> All right, River. And Rivers, this is a good one because grandpa gave us a lot of good words of wisdom. So let's go over them again. What were they? Grandpa said, be honest, but be kind. And it might be hard to do those both at the same time, but we can sure try, right? Grandpa also said, learn something new every day. Uh, but remember that understanding what you know and what you don't know is more important than just learning stuff. And lastly, the third thing that Grandpa wants you to know is that asking questions is the first step to understanding because lots of other people might have the same questions. So if you're asking questions and getting really curious, you're helping yourself learn and understand, but you also are going to help other people learn and understand. So don't think it's a bad thing to ask questions. Um, it'll make your life a lot easier if you can get used to asking questions. So. I feel this river, what grandpa said. All of those things were really great advice and great messages uh, for the week and for our lives. So awesome, awesome, awesome. I pulled out our special slip of, it's like cloud paper, it has clouds on the other side, um, to find out our activity of the week. So I'm not going to look at it yet. Sorry, I forgot the drum roll. Please give me a drum roll for the activity of the week. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so River's activity kind of challenge for you for the week, if it's a challenge or not, um, is to call a family member or a friend and tell them you love them, or if it's their birthday, call them on their birthday like I just did with my grandpa. Um, I know things are kind of opening back up again, and we're like, you know, people are going out, hopefully with masks on, and trying to get back to maybe how things were before COVID, but, you know, with quarantine and everything, COVID was a time for us to connect with family members that maybe don't live really close to us. So just because our schedules are kind of getting busier again doesn't mean we can't take some time to call our loved ones and let them know that we love them or tell them happy birthday or happy anniversary or whatever, um, just to stay connected in that way. So if there's someone out there, a family member or a friend that you haven't reached out to in a while because maybe work's picking back up or something, I don't know, but wherever you're at, just, uh, you know, give them a call, shoot them a text, you know, set up a video call, Zoom call. I don't know. There's lots of ways to do it. Um, but it's really important to st keep, keep staying connected and let them know, our loved ones know that we love them. So, awesome! And we're about perfect timing here this week, y'all. I'm, like, getting good at this. So, thank you for joining us for story time this week. We had so much fun. Um... If my family's watching, don't forget to wish Grandpa a happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday, Grandpa. We love you so much. You're so amazing, and we learned so much from you. Uh, yeah, everybody have a great rest of your day. Keep washing those hands. Keep wearing those masks. Keep not touching your face. I know it's hard, but you can do it. All right, bye. <laughs>